Now that our simulation is complete, we are able to view a series of results. We will first compare the maximum stresses on the part with our design criteria by viewing the von Mies stress results. Here we can see that our maximum stress is 75 megapascals. We will now look at the displacement results. We can see here that the maximum displacement is 0.382 millimeters. Lastly, we will observe our minimum safety factor. We can see here that the value of 3.6 falls well within our design requirements. Comparing these values to our design criteria, we can see that this design is more than compliant. However, it is unnecessarily thick and heavy. When parts such as this are over-designed, they can have a large impact on the performance and sustainability of the larger systems to which they belong. A series of unnecessarily heavy car parts will result in a vehicle with poor fuel consumption and ultimately require more material to manufacture. Other performance factors such as handling, speed, and acceleration are also affected. To optimize our part, we will return to the modeling workspace. Now that we are back in the modeling workspace, we can make updates to our part to reduce its weight and material usage, in turn improving its overall performance and environmental impact. We will begin by determining the mass of our current thicker model. To do so, we will right-click on the primary pedal component of the assembly and go to Properties. Here we can see that our part's mass is 309 grams. To improve our part, we will extrude away two pockets, creating a uniform I-beam cross-section. To do so, we will begin by showing our extrusion sketch, Sketch 1, using the browser on the left. We will then click the Create icon, which defaults to an extrusion function. We will set our distance as negative 10.2 millimeters and change our operation to cut. To repeat this operation on the opposite side of the model, we'll go to Create and select Mirror. We will mirror our extrusion about the front plane. We now have improved the upper section of our model. However, we still have excess material towards the bottom. To extrude away this material and create a complete opening around the pivot, we will view Sketch 2. We will repeat the same process as before, except that we will set the extent to through all and flip the direction, creating a complete hole. We have now reduced the weight and material usage of our part, in turn improving the overall sustainability metrics of our part and larger system. To see how much our part has improved, we will view the mass of the part again by going to the part's properties. As we can see, our new and improved part weighs only 141 grams, less than 50% of the weight of the previous version. We will now return to the simulation workspace and rerun our previous static stress simulation to ensure that the structural integrity and performance of the part has not been compromised. We will now run a second simulation on our improved, more sustainable part. We can carry over the constraints, loads, and contacts that we've already defined. We can see that our simulation is set up, so we click Solve once again to rerun the simulation. Now that we have our results, we will review the maximum and minimum stress values. The values are 97.08 and 0.04 megapascals, respectively. Comparing these values to the supplied design criteria shows that the lightweight sustainable design is, in fact, compliant. Reviewing our displacement values, we can see that the maximum and minimum values are 0.76 and 0 millimeters, respectively. Comparing these values to the supplied design criteria again shows that the lightweight, sustainable design is compliant. We can perform the same compliancy comparison with the safety factor results, seeing that our minimum safety factor of 2.83 is also well within our design criteria. In the event that our lightweight part was not compliant with our design requirements, we would return once more to the modeling workspace to make updates on the design. As you can see, we were able to use the static stress simulation functionalities in Fusion 360 to lightweight a poor design and analyze its performance under load. Lightweighting components in a larger mechanical system can improve the performance of the system as a whole, making it more efficient and sustainable.